Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Kincaid, and for those of you who are new, a special welcome. Today I'm going to show you all the single dollar items at Dollar General. Unlike Dollar Tree, they have broader range of price points, but they did have a lot of items that were just a dollar each. I'm also going to show you some fun DIYs using the items. Here they had some little uh, wall plaques and signs that were also a dollar each. All of these fairy garden miniatures, also one dollar. Some of them were really cute and would be fun to work into terrariums or other little miniature type of arrangements. These little frogs conversing on the park bench were really cute. I saw this display of solar lanterns. These were called patriotic stakes, and then they had the plain ones, and they were also a dollar. I really like these magnets. I picked up a package of these for a DIY I'm going to show you later in the video. It's going to combine a Dollar Tree item along with some of these magnets that were one dollar a piece here at Dollar General. They had other items, as you can see, for one dollar. These were cheerful flowers designed dish sponges and down here notepads, journaling, la labels and tags and other kinds of tin plaques as well as some of these word labels that were adhesive. They had other adhesive labels over here and also these file folder sets. I did pick up a package of these shelf liners that I'm going to use in a desk. I just finished refurbishing a desk and it's a very fun project. It took some work, but I'm going to share that with you on my upcoming video. Here's how a uh, sneak peek of it. And I used those shelf liners to reline two of the drawers and now continuing with our tour of dollar items at Dollar General, they had these little plaques, also these containers for keys, change, and stuff. On this aisle, the associate told me everything top to bottom, the entirety of the aisle was $1. So I'll just give you a glimpse. Lots and lots of cleaning products were uh, available here laundry products, cleaning products, paper products, plastic cutlery. I'm just giving you a general sense. Uh, I thought some of these items were definitely a good buy for the money. They had packages of paper products, cups, um, trash bags, as you can see. I'm kind of just a uh, perusing it along with you. Here we have more uh, hefty bags and paper products, also some baby products. The soap pads up here are a good alternative to the Brillo pads. And I'm just continuing here to show you they did have quite a full aisle of a wide assortment of items. And over here, uh, just as Dollar Tree has a nice assortment of cards for very fair prices, a dollar or less. Here, continuing more party items, tablecloths. Here's some pinatas available. Um, they also had an assortment of paper plates, paper napkins in different thematic colors. I'm always impressed also with the balloons that are available at both Dollar Tree and Dollar General. They are so much more affordable than the ones you buy at party stores or in grocery aisles. Here's some tissue paper and all assorted birthday candles, some in the numerals and some uh, just in various color combinations. I found lots of festive items for decorating a party table, making someone feel special on their birthday. This is a large Dollar General store here in Northern Maryland, but I'm trying to focus in on just the single dollar items, which include uh, these pot holders uh, in the kitchen section. Here they had clearance items. So basically for 10 cents a piece, if you want to stock up, you could get all these uh, zipper bags for with Easter motifs for next year. Here are some really cute magnets and I start shopping for stocking stuffers all year long. So this one was really cute, mom's kitchen and some funny verses on them. Here's some garden gloves in their spring section. These bathtub shaped soap holders were awfully cute and I think the design would make them very handy on a sink or tub. These rolls are actually placemats uh, and I 
think they would make nice placemats, but I actually have a DIY in mind for these. They were $2 a roll, so I picked up two. Here, these tortilla warmers were very well made. They're double-sided, very thick fabric with that kind of um, trim around the outer edge. And I have a plan for those. So I did buy the one that had the, the leopards on it for a DIY that I'm going to show you on this video. It's a fun little project and a very easy to do. They had them in different patterns. Over here are some little ice cube trays, a dollar a piece, uh, made of silicone, and they have the star shapes. So I did purchase one, again, for a DIY. Uh, these would make nice molds, not only for ice cubes, but for other kinds of uh, clay or wax. Now, over here, we had the seed packs that they sold two for a dollar, and they had a wide variety of flowers as well as some vegetables. I'll give you a quick glimpse of the kitchen aisle, which was also well stocked with items for one dollar. You can see cutlery trays, containers, twine, uh, different kinds of utensils here. And uh, again, I thought there were some good deals to be had. The children's section had some very nice items with a lot of play value for the price. You can see, I'm just giving you another glimpse of some of the uh, options here. And they had just a wide variety of items, many of which were $1. Similarly, over in the uh, household section here, you could get the gloves, pack of sponges, um, different scrub brush tools, dusters. Uh, I liked the little scrubber sponges that had the handles on them. Um, they also had the uh, textured sponges, packaged sponges, uh, a variety of cleaning items. I picked up one of these. I like the way they're designed, um, as they call them, the no scratch hand saver scourers. <laughs> Here's some uh, other heavy duty ones. Well, let's move on. Moving over here, these items were a uh, little bit pricier than the single dollar items I've been featuring, but uh, they were ranging pretty much from three, six uh, dollars, uh, some a little bit more, but they did have some very pretty things. I thought those arched mirrors were just lovely. Scrolling through the Pottery Barn website, I saw some very pretty printed pillows. They made me think that we could use these as inspiration pieces if we could find a pretty rug and cut it down into uh, the size to make these pillows. We might be able to save quite a bit of money and make some lovely decorative pillows. I took a look at the rolled rugs here and I did find a very pretty one. So I purchased it for $16 and we'll dive into that project now. I was happy to find this pattern. It's a chenille runner, which is uh, $16 for the roll, and you get a fairly large size, 19 and a half by um, 54 inches in length. So I think we should be able to make a few pillows out of that. It's really a beautiful piece. It could also make a lovely table runner as well as a floor runner, but we're gonna go ahead and make the pillows. I'm just going to take the runner and fold it in half right over itself. Then I'll go ahead and cut right along down that fold line. Take your first piece and then just fold that in half. All you have to do after that is use your hot glue to run a line along that band. Tend toward the interior of that band because you don't want any hot glue to ooze out when you press it together. Since the rug is a little thicker than normal fabric, you wanna be sure to use an ample amount of hot glue. Just be sure you do run it on the interior so it doesn't ooze out. You can always use bag clips to hold together those seams while it dries, but it does dry very quickly. And before you know it, you're finished and you're ready to stuff the pillow. I used some stuffing from a Walmart pillow that I bought for $4. As you're running your lines of hot glue, do also be sure to leave open about six inches so that you can stuff your pillow. 
It's fun and easy to fill it with this polyfill and within minutes you have a beautiful chenille pillow. You'll notice it even has a lovely whip stitched uh, edge going all the way around the border on the three sides. Here I am just finishing um, filling it up and then all I have to do at this point is to hot glue that opening shut. For $8 plus some polyfill, I made a gorgeous pillow. Now let's take a closer look at the ones at Pottery Barn. Here you can see the pillow does not come with the insert. So to purchase one pillow uh, and one insert that's a down alternative filling, the cost, as you can see, is $72. For $8 and some polyfill, I think we have a great dupe. After I finish the second one, I'm taking them over to my mom's because she really likes them and the colors go great with her color palette. So in an upcoming video, I'll show you how they look there. Making this sweet little jungle inspired pillow is even easier. All you need is one of the tortilla warmers that they sell at the Dollar General. I showed you that they had this pattern as well as several others. It's designed in such a way that you can just easily stuff it and hot glue it. And within less than five minutes, you have an adorable little accent pillow that would be so sweet in a child's room. As you can see here, I just cut off the tag as well as the little hanging loop at the top. Then just simply get some polyfill. I buy the $4 pillows at the Walmart and that provides a lot of polyfill to stuff various decorative pillows. After you stuff it, simply hot glue that opening and your job is complete. There was a nice assortment of patterns and the fabric is nice and thick and already bordered. So for $5 and a little bit of polyfill, you really do have a sweet little accent pillow. I hope you've enjoyed these projects and have been inspired to make some of your own. I have so much more to share with you, including some promised projects. I am working on those and do plan to publish a couple more videos this week, including the desk uh, project, which is really a beautiful one. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I welcome your comments below. In the meantime, take care and God bless.